These are the uh, mounting feet of my shaper. So what we have to do is machine these welds off. There's four of them to do, four feet. This stud mounts the plate to the shaper base. So we get rid of this and this plate is already drilled in four locations. To suit these casters. So that comes off, the casters go on, these go back onto the machine and it enables us to shift it out of its location to where I can pick it up with a hire truck and get it over to the new shop. Okay so we're set up in the forge jaw with our shaper foot so that's the weld we have to machine off. So we just have an old revolving centre, it's not my good one so this is a good use for me old shit. <laughs> um, so that's backed up by this piece of scrap aluminium and the aluminium is purely there so when we break through the weld uh, the piece that we're removing doesn't come flying out, it'll hold it all together as a unit and then we can take it out in a respectable fashion without it flying out the machine. Well that's the plan anyway. So we're just going to run the lathe on slow. <laughs> And this is rock hard, it's bloody hard. That insert's not real flash either. Let me change this insert. I'll go and find another old insert because I'm not going to cut these welds out with a new one. I always keep my old inserts um, purely for this reason. So if it breaks, it, we're not losing out. <laughs> Just about three fraction more. Okay, I'll give that a tap with a hammer, see if she moves. Look at that. Beautiful. Just face that burr off. Okay, that's ready for a caster.
I'll just block it up for now and then I'll put some um, temporary wheels on so I can move the thing around. So I just have these plates with these casters on. That lets us move it around the shop till we get it to its final location. And of course, we've got to go up a bit higher. Well, here she is, the new addition to the shop. My shaper, finally got it back home, a Zocker 500. So she's a, a reasonable size shaper. The, it has a tilting table, so the table tilts this way. Of course, the support on the front. Um, it's got clapper lift. It's also got uh, auto down feed. This is where you engage and disengage. That's for a, where you adjust your stroke. So she has a 500 uh, millimeter stroke. Nice simple gearbox and clutch lever. So this one here, that's the data plate. So camera doesn't want to focus today as usual um, it's a 1981 model and it weighs 1500 kilos so yeah one and a half metric ton probably won't see too much in there it's all pretty clean inside it has a uh, oil um, that's an oil reservoir down there. It has an oil pump in it to um, pump the oil around the machine. So there's the, the big arm and then the, the ball gear behind it with its um, stroke adjusting mechanism. So yeah, this will be a good addition to the shop. It, it doesn't re really require any work, just a bit of a clean up. And she'll be good to go. And I suppose while we're here, um, just a quick update on what's going on here. We have started to frame up the end walls. So, the, so there'll be a personal entry door um, in here, which I'm in the middle of making the frames up for at the moment. So, yeah, we have these half wall frames completed on both ends of the uh, new shop. And the other one in the distance down there. They're the uprights for the uh, roller door. Yeah.
Well, yeah, as you can see by that thermometer, it's um, been another stinker here today, and we're in for a, a lot more of it too. So um, it's coming up to February, and it's going to be a repeat of January as far as the uh, hot days go. Well, it is our summer, so. Um, so yeah, I got a little bit done on, on the shed after you know through January. We made a good start on the framework for the end walls, and we're not really that far off getting ready for sheeting um, once I put those personal entry door frames in, which I've made, or just about made. Um, what else has been happening? Oh, the shaper. Yeah, we successfully got our shaper home, so I've had that stored at uh, Bruce Witham's house for some time now. So he just lives around the corner from me. So it's uh, Bruce Witham from uh, Gem, uh, Gem Trek. Well known across a um, few uh, YouTubers. Um, we had some mail, we had a couple of stickers turn up in the mail. Our first one is from DJ at Foxburg's Fabric Coblin. So he's got a small channel just starting out, um, some interesting machines. Um, it's actually well worth having a look at his channel, I quite enjoy it. And one of my other favourite channels. Josh at oh. Topper Machine. So he's been around for a while, he has a very good channel, just a still a small medium sized channel, but um, has some really good content in it. So not just machining, he um, has some old vintage uh, machinery he um, plays around with as well, sawmill and tractors and whatnot, but um, he's got uh, a good sized horizontal borer. And, uh, he, uh, he does have a really interesting planer. It's a long bed planer machine and it has a Bridgeport head attached to it. So, yeah, so yeah, check him out. Josh at Topper Machine. He also sent oh, a business card and a little um, card brochure of um, some shots of what he does in, in, his, in his workshop. So yeah, it's quite good, quite interesting stuff he does. Now, we'll get these up on the board. What else has been going on? Oh, I picked up, oh, these are heavy. Um, a couple of tool blocks. Um, that has a, a, a adjustable coolant jet through it. So I've got two of these tool blocks. One's, oh, back down. Uh, I do believe they're off a of CNC. Uh, lathe of some description, and I'm going to modify these to use as boring bar holders in my 21 inch swing lathe. So that's another upcoming um, job to do. Now there's something else. What was it? I remember now. So yeah, February, I've got uh, some more holidays, some more um, time booked off work. So in a couple of weeks off, I I'm going to have a big push to get the uh, end walls completed on the shed and have it all ready for roller doors. So we're getting very close to uh, lock up stage now. Um, I already have an electrician, a local electrician, who's um, starting the ball rolling with the um, power board as I want a massive power upgrade for the property. So I'm trying to get um, 250 amps of 415 volt power. So we'll see how we go with that. So that would be ideal. And yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll have another update. Probably a shed update in a couple of weeks. Um, if I get any more machining videos done, it'll be because it's just been too bloody hot to work on the shed. But the shed is, as I've said before, the major priority is to get that done and dusted. So. Anyway, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, have a good one. And that's mid-strength beer too. See ya.